4487 kisha ingiza kiasi ingiza namba ya siri yani pin alafu utapokea ujumbe mfupi wa kuletisha mambo yako toa sadaka yako ya upendo ahadi au fungo la kumi kupitia Mpesa piga nyota 150 nyota 00 reli kisha chagua namba 4 lipia kwa Mpesa chagua namba 4 ingiza namba ya kampuni ambayo ni moja mbili tatu moja mbili tatu ama namba ya biashara ya Mastercard QR kisha ingiza namba kumkumbu ile namba ambayo ni sita sifuri nne nane nne nne moja saba kisha ingiza kiasi kile ambacho ungependa kutoa ingiza namba ya siri yani pin baada hapo utapokea ujumbe mfupi wa kuletisha malipo yako kutoa sadaka yako ya upendo ahadi au fungo la kumi kupitia Airtel Money piga nyota 150 nyota 600 reli kisha chagua namba tano lipia bili chagua namba moja lipia bidhaa chagua namba moja lipia kwa Mastercard QR ingiza kiasi kile ambacho ungependa kutoa ingiza namba kumbukumbu yani pay namba ambayo ni 6048441417 kisha ingiza namba ya siri halafu utapokea ujumbe mfupi wa kupitisha malipo yako kutoa sadaka yako ya upendo ahadi au fungo la kumi kupitia Halo Pesa piga nyota 150 nyota 88 leo kisha chagua namba 5 lipia bidhaa chagua namba 3 lipia kwa Mastercard QR kisha ingiza namba malipo yani pay namba ambayo ni 6048441417 ingiza kiasi kile ambacho ungependa kutoa ingiza namba ya siri yani pin halafu utapokea uthibitisho malipo yako kutoa sadaka yako ya upendo ahadi au fungo la kumi kupitia tipesa piga nyota 150 nyota 71 reli kisha chagua namba sita lipia chagua namba mbili kulipia kwa Mastercard QR ingiza namba malipo yani pay namba ambayo ni 0484441417 ingiza kiasi kile ambacho ungependa kutoa ingiza namba ya siri yani pin baada hapo utapokea ujumbe wa kuletisha malipo yako kutoa sadaka yako ya upendo ahadi au fungo la kumi kupitia Easy Pesa piga nyota 150 nyota 02 reli kisha chagua namba tano malipo chagua namba moja lipia hapa chagua namba mbili lipia kwa Mastercard QR kisha ingiza namba ya ya biashara yani pay namba ambayo ni 0484441417 ingiza kiasi kile ambacho ungependa kutoa ingiza pin yani namba ya siri halafu utapokea ujumbe mfupi wa uthibitisho wa malipo yako kutoa sadaka yako ya upendo ahadi au fungo la kumi
and he's always been so good hallelujah
and just declare it together with us. We will forever bless the beautiful name of the Lord. We will forever bless your beautiful name. We will forever bless your beautiful name. One more time, come on and declare it. We will forever bless. We will forever praise your name. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. saves us. There is only one name that heals us. There is only one name that delivers us, oh God. Sometimes we forget about that and we try to use our own ways, but we forget that we have the most powerful name that is above every other name that delivers, heals, and restores, and rejuvenates. Father God, we just want to bless you for your name. Sovereign Savior, we just want to bless you for your name. There is only one name that heals and delivers with power to save.
Let's go before the Lord in making our thanksgiving prayers to God. Let's continue to be in the mood and in the presence of God, in the mood of prayer and the presence of God. Continuing to make our thanksgiving prayers to the Lord. Appreciating who God is in our lives. Acknowledging the blessings of God for the entire year of 2023. In your, in, in your life, in your family, in your business. Continuing to be grateful for all what God has done to you, for you, in you, through you. You continue to be grateful to God. You continue to be thankful to God. Lift up your voice, somebody, and pray a prayer of thanksgiving to the Lord. This is the month we want to be grateful to God. We want to be appreciative to, to God. We want to say thanks to the Lord. We want to say thank you, God, and thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for all you've done to, to your people, to this congregation. We are grateful. We are thankful to you. Karabosake Dima Saka Bosaka. Deriama Fora Bosake Riamanda Rabosaka. Re Kapasaka Ramande Keposake. Diriaga Namaga Fora Bosake. Ke 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 positi namasaya. Re ke 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 siki dikiama fora bosaka. We are thankful to you. We are grateful before you. We are so grateful. We acknowledge that it is all about you. It's all about you, Father. This, this far, you are God who have brought us this far. You are the Lord who has brought us this far. You are King of kings and the Lord of lords. We want to thank you. We want to bless you. We want to glorify your holy name. We want to give you the, the praises that comes from inner recesses of our hearts. Receive it, our God Almighty. Ramande Boseke, Rima Fora Bosakari, Namande Keposeke. Receive our thanksgivings. Receive our thanksgivings and prayers this morning. We understand that, Father, it's through you and it's because of you and it's of you father all these things have worked out successful for us have made us to be who we are it's through your power it's through your grace we give you praise we give you glory we say thanks to you our father in heaven we say thanks to you our father at heaven Ramande de come afford a bosaka. Receive, 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 receive our thanksgiving prayers this morning. Receive and receive and receive our thanksgiving prayer this morning. Receive and receive and receive our thanksgiving prayer this morning. We are so thankful to you. We are so grateful before you. We are so appreciative before you. We say it's all about you. It's you, Lord, have done all these things for your glory. Manda bose ke rika masaya. Re ke 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 posiki di nama fora bose ka. Diri amaga fora bose ke di nia masaya. Receive the glory. Receive the honor. Receive. 
receive the praises receive the acknowledgments that father we are making before you manda pose ke ri kamasaya continue to be grateful continue to be thankful to god continue to say a word of thanks to the lord continue to say all these things which god has done to you you become grateful you become grateful to god in your own words Father, as a congregation, we are so grateful before you. As a church, we are so grateful before you. As a ministry, we are so grateful before you. You are God who makes it possible. You are God who makes things possible. You are God who makes things to work out for us, working out success for us. You are God who makes things very successful. And we are so grateful. And we are so thankful. We appreciate you, Father. Raman de Rika Masaya, Diria Magafora Bosika, Mandama Fora Bosekeria Pasekinama, Endama Fora Bosika, Diria Magasakara Mande Reboseke, Rika Pasikiti Nama Fora Bosaka, Mandama Sakarina Mande Reboseke. I want to say thanks, Father, because of what you are doing in this stage because of what you're doing in this ministry because of what you're doing in this stage father we are so thankful we are so grateful we are so grateful before you god no one can do it except you father no one can do it is you alone who can make it possible we want to thank you lord we want to thank you king of kings and the lord of lords thank you father god Thank you, King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Manda Bosake, De Kapasaka, and Masake Rabosaka. Would you please hold hands of your neighbor, hands of your neighbors, neighbors, and make a thanksgiving prayer because of your neighbor. You, you are, you may not be aware what the Lord has done to him or her. You may not be having a full idea of what the Lord has done to your neighbor. But just go ahead. Just go ahead and thank God because of him or her. For him to be in the worship service this morning. Just that one is something you should be grateful for. It's something we should be thankful to the Lord because of your neighbor who has made him to be in the church this morning. And God has taken care of him this whole year. And we are making this worship service together with your brother, with your sister. Just thank him. We've been praying for one another this year so much and so many times. We've been praying for each other this, this year so many times. 
we will be going before the Lord also to be thankful that God heard our prayers as we have been praying for one another as a church and as we have been praying for each other as a congregation go before the Lord and thank him thank the Lord thank Jesus thank the Father in heaven because of what is done to your neighbor this year your neighbor God did a miracle for him God performed a miracle for her just be thanks to him and her just be thanks because of what the Lord has done to him and to her go before the Lord and thank the Lord in your own ways thank you father thank you king of kings and thank you lord of lords and thank you god almighty because of what you've done because of what you've make made it possible we are grateful we are thankful we are appreciating you father because of everything you've done because of all what you've done for our people for our colleagues for our fellow congregants for our fellow members of our church thank you father because of the healings because of the restorations because of the redemptions because of the salvation because of the blessings because of the promotions because of the marriages performed this year because of the family born this year because of the health because of all the material blessings you gave to your people father god we are so grateful father god you are so thankful we want to thank you we want to thank you father god we want to thank you king of kings and the lord of lords because of everything you've done to us oh god because of everything you've done to us our god almighty we want to thank you we want to bless you we you we want to give you praise and glory for what you've done to us and all what you've done to your children in the name of Jesus Christ receive the honor 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus.
one round. Give the Lord a praise in his age. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings. And thank you, Lord of Lords. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, we are two weeks ahead to make a year 2023. By his grace. Not by power, not by might, it's by the Spirit of the Lord. And I would like to call upon the entire congregation to show how grateful we are. Yes, the Lord has made so many things to you as an individual. Yes, the Lord has made so many things to you as a family. And the Lord has made so many things to you in your business world, into your career, into your employment. You have so many things to testify. But we as a congregation, we have things we can testify of what the Lord has done for us as a church, as a congregation. Things we should be grateful for. I want to invite the entire church for some few moments. If you can just express how grateful we are to God by giving him a praise, giving him a shout which he indeed deserves it. Let's make it for his God. Hallelujah. Show how grateful we are. Show Hallelujah. how we are. Show him how much we appreciate him. So show how much we are grateful of what he's done to our lives. Come on, come on, come on. Let's give him much more. Let's give him much more. Father, receive our praises this morning. Father, receive the glory this morning. Father, receive all the honor this morning. You indeed deserves it. You indeed deserves our praises. All the glory belongs to you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit of the Lord. And the winners in the church, you say a big amen. And all the champions in the church you say one more time a big amen amen thank your neighbors this morning and be greet them this morning by giving them an advance god bless you merry christmas in advance for you just show them how grateful you are to be meeting them this morning in the congregation this morning be grateful because of them because of what the lord has done for them we are in the christmas festivals is all about festivities and we should be grateful to come this far by the grace of god amen we should be grateful to come this far by the grace of god let me make a small extension of this time of greeting each other you know coming to this far we all understand it's been by god's grace amen it's been by the love of god it's been because of god ordained it god commanded it to, to, to come to happen for you and let me ex extend for you some few moments for you to go and be and uh, be great with a few people and just show them how grateful you you are to be worshiping the lord with them and to be together in the worship service this morning for a few moments you can just go and be greeting some fellow friends amen i'll just go ahead and make the introduction of our speaker this morning our brother isaac impato has brought his colleagues his friends to worship with us and Pato, who is the senior leader of the kingdom leadership network in tanzania has brought his colleagues to worship with us today and uh, among them one is our speaker this morning and i want to make 
his introduction by reading his bio to you this morning. Dr. Alexi Kisango from Zimbabwe, by calling has saved the African continent and international, internationally as a national builder, empowerment engineer, and a development consultant for over three decades. He pioneered many blueprints, social, economic, and spiritual solutions, initiatives, and projects for the, the building and empowerment and development of nations ahead of the current demands for the reconstruction following recent worldwide crises and collapses. In 2016, he mobilized his international relationships to launch and pioneer the World Economic Congress, WEC, which is now spearheading the sustainable cross-cutting and a collaborative reconstruction of Africa and economic and economy and ethics worldwide. WEC has an investment hub, joint venture project for reconstruction, quality membership with the cross-cutting solutions leaders, country chapters, and conduct period, periodic economic capacity building and special topical summits. As an, as an educationist, an innovator and consultant, Dr. Chisango holds two doctorates in international leadership and in pedagogy, pedagogy respectively, as well as being an accredited professional fellow. He has hosted and been hosted by heads of nations to bring rare wisdom and counsel for the nation building with his works featured in major media agencies and publications like the African Executive, CBN News, TBN, MANA TV, Mission Frontiers, Ashoka Fellow, Fellow, Ashoka Fellows, Breaking News Grounds, ETC. This is the man who is coming to speak to us this morning. Now let's give him a visiting warm welcome, the man of God, as he's coming to speak the word of God to us this morning. Please visit do what you usually do. So, fellow uh, brethren, before we can, before we can allow uh, such a great man of God to sit down, it's time to appreciate him and to appreciate Mama. Uh, let's appreciate Dr. Nkone. <laughs> Dr. Nkone, we love you. Mama, we love you so much, so much, so much. Um, really appreciate and i can tell you victory christian tabernacle you are a deep church very broad and you are going very far You're going very far you're going very far thank you so much allow me to um greet and appreciate all the associate leadership in the house and all the um, great and august saints of God that are possessing the kingdom in the house. You are appreciated. We love you so much. You may take your seats this morning. And this morning, once again, I'm, I'm glad uh, we are together with Mama here, my wife, and... We are grateful for her presence. We give a great honor um, 
before I also appreciate our host in Tanzania on this mission, I want to really appreciate um, our colleagues. We are very proud of them um, all over the world. Um, out of our chapters, Kenya is, is, is leading and shining, and we are grateful. We're really, really grateful. Thank you so much. Now, beloved, uh, we are in, here in Tanzania just for a few days, and uh, today is our last working day. And, and tonight, when you see us preaching very quickly and finishing very quickly, is because we are trying to beat time. Because from 3 p.m. Um, in uh, Dar es Salaam, today at the Hyatt Regency Hotel, 3 p.m. KLNT, which is Kingdom Leadership Network, Tanzania, uh, under our brother Isaac Mpatwa. Can we be proud of our own people doing great work? <laughs> yes. Um, 3 p.m., we are doing two in one, a double kick, where there is the official celebration of the 10th anniversary, 10th anniversary of KLNT, 10th anniversary. Um, and at the same time, in that 10th anniversary, KLNT will also be officially launching and hosting the launch of International Christian Chamber of Commerce chapter in Tanzania as well. Right. So, this is uh, some powerful development happening in Tanzania and we have come from World Economic Congress to support these events. Now, if we have come all the way from Zimbabwe via South Africa to come here, how about you already in Dar es Salaam? How can you be missing tonight? <laughs> and those, those that are able to attend because there will be a gathering of business leaders, um, leaders in the various professions, and also um, faith leaders from the churches and wherever, at the same time, government leaders will be there. I'm trusting that the, 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 the poster for the event has been flighted before or is being flighted, but there's pre-registration. Doc, I once, I once hosted an event in Harare, which was nice, uh, you know, nice like what we have tonight as well. And then I made a mistake. I never, my team did not get people to register first. I had to hire one bishop to become a bouncer that evening <laughs> because now, you know, this bishop was the secretary of the team. So the queue went right up to the street and it went the other street because people had not registered prior. So Brother Isaac has made a provision for people to register, those that are going to attend. And after this meeting, the registration team, I'm told they will be somewhere outside able to help you to register so that you get a special seat, you get a special table, uh, probably a special place with your name written there. So this is not a place where you just meet people in the street and you say, and five minutes before the event you say, guys, let's go, let's go, let's go. This is not an evangelism crusade. This is a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a powerful strategic event. So let's do that. God bless you. Clap hands for what the Lord is doing in Tanzania. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You are so uh, appreciated. God bless you. We do have, um, on this day, you know, it's a, it, to me, it's a, it's a special, special, special occasion. Um, I've been to Tanzania before, uh, but we've preached in other places, not Dar es Salaam. So this church is special to us. Very, 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 very special to us. This is a very, very special day. Now, I heard from the Lord last night. Um, Rene, uh, Madame, they've been with me for a long time. We do run Man of God events even for 70 days, nonstop. 
but I struck, I, I've never preached the same message two times. It's just not possible. I, I wish, I, I love to do that. I love to do that, but it's just, except if it's in Bible school, where you have to repeat certain things, and so on and so on. But last night I heard from the Lord something that I, 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 um, I really felt it's, it's so special because this church is very special in the agenda of God. In the agenda of God. Very, very special. So, now, a lot of the things I'll refer to them without reading. I'll just read a very, very, very brief portion. Um, I'll, I'll just read a very, very brief portion and then I'll refer to a few more things. In the book of Psalms, in the, book, in the Psalms, chapter 105, Psalms chapter 105, verses 16, 16 to, uh, to um, 23, Psalms 105, we're looking at verses uh, 16 to 23. That's 105 um, Psalms, and the Psalms, they are found in the Bible. So, Psalms 105, verse 16, says, Moreover, he called for a famine. Moreover, he called for a famine in the land. He destroyed all the provisions of bread. And he sent a man before them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. They had his feet with fetters, and he was laid in irons until the time that his word came to pass. The word of the Lord tested him. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people let him go free. He made him lord of all his house and ruler of all his possessions. Verse 22, to bind his princes at his pleasure and to teach his senators or elders wisdom. And then verse 23 says, Israel also came into Egypt and Jacob dwelt in the land of Ham. Now, we will um, proceed with our reading. Um, we proceed with our reading on to the book of Revelation. Revelation in chapter 14. Verse 14 there. To 20, where it says, Then I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and on the cloud there sat one like the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him who sat on the cloud saying, thrust in your sickle and reap, for the time has come for you to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. The harvest of the earth is ripe. So he who sat on the cloud thrust his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped, which means the earth was harvested. The earth was harvested. And then verse 17 says, Then another angel came out of the temple, which is in heaven, he also having a sharp sickle. And another angel came out from the altar, who had power over fire, and he cried with a loud cry to him, who had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in your sharp sickle, and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for the grapes are fully ripe. So the angel thrust his sickle into the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and threw it 
um, into the great wine press of the wrath of God, and the wine press was outside the city, and blood came out of the wine press up to the horse's bristles for one thousand um, six hundred furlongs. May the Lord bless the reading of His word. I refer to so many things after that. Now, beloved brethren, we are speaking this morning. We are speaking about positioning, positioning for the greatest harvest. Positioning for the greatest harvest, which means taking position, which means rearranging everything, resetting everything from personal life to family life to business to your career, to your profession, I'm skilled during the time of the crisis. He left others to focus on the crisis, but he focused on positioning himself to be the answer to the crisis. Almost like ignore, I mean, Jerusalem had been destroyed. Jewish people had been scattered. Like you have seen project proposal of building Jerusalem. It can be funded as long as you have positioned yourself. Now one big problem with Africans is that Africans, we grew up and we were trained. We were trained to think small. But Ezra jumped out of the small bucket <laughs> and he started to position himself to train a nation, to teach a nation the laws of God. He jumped into a vision, a vision that would require massive financing and finances. I don't know what his wife was thinking when this guy was preparing to teach a nation which doesn't exist. <laughs> but every scattering, every disaster, every war, you must remember that after the war, there is going to be reconstruction. So if you position yourself, in fact, Ezra, during the rebuilding, it was now time for harvesting the nation. The pulpit of Ezra changed. Ezra, the Bible says when he came back to Jerusalem with the budget and the finances that were now the largest finances. Now, there are some people who don't understand that money has nothing to do with your profession or your career, whether you are a waiter, a waiter like Nehemiah, a waiter in the palace, money can follow you if you position yourself. Money can follow you if you carry, if you accept the vision. The king asked a waiter in the palace, he says, why are you not happy this morning? You have always served us with breakfast, with the cheerfulness of face, cheerfulness of heart, but this morning, why are you sad? And this man says, I cannot rejoice because the time of my vision, the time of what? The burden that I'm carrying. I have a vision to build a city. I have a vision to rebuild Jerusalem. And the king said to him, so what do you need? Never ask me that question. <laughs> what do you need? What do you need? Ma many of us here, if you get the opportunity to be asked, what do you need? Many of you, you talk about a pair of shoes. Nehemiah says, I need a leave of absence. I need to go and build. Oh my God. I need to go and build a city. Now, Nehemiah, he is not the archbishop of Jerusalem. He is not prophet. He is a waiter. A waiter 
who has positioned himself. Oh my God. Wealth is about to move into the hands of waiters. Waiters, waiters. Ordinary people. Wealth is about to move in the hands of ordinary tribes, journalists. Wealth will follow them. And that nation needs to be taught in order to strengthen their minds, strengthen their hearts, strengthen their lifestyles. Because if people have been scattered for 70 years, you can't start building a nation without laying foundations of training them. For Tanzania to go forward right now, it will need trainers and teachers of the nation. If you position yourself at that level, oh, I can declare to you that the famine, the crisis that God knew and has allowed to go over nations, it will turn into a revival. It turns into a revival. God called for a famine. The crazy thing is that after he called for a famine, he says, and he sent a man. He sent a man. God calls for a famine, and then he sends a man. So, eh, oh my God, every crisis which you are preparing to run away from, somebody is being prepared by God to enter into it and to become the solution and to be positioned to lead the harvest. Especially these days, evangelism is going to change. Because we used to have evangelism where, you know, we take a tent, we go outside, we persuade people and we beg them to come to the Lord. Now this time around, people will be begging to enter your tent. <laughs> because the crisis is too much. The crisis is too much. The same guy who was called Joseph, who was like a nuisance, when he was talking about a dream to his brothers, God called for a famine. When God called for a famine, the same guy who was sold by his brothers to be a slave, the same guy, his brothers were now begging him when the famine came. The famine is a platform for harvesting nations. Amen. Disaster is a platform. It's a blood. And God spoke to me last night, man of God. He said, this church, you have got to launch out training programs just to prepare the people to harvest the nations. Just to prepare the people to harvest the nations. All kinds of skills and disciplines for harvesting nations. Harvesting nations. Because, you see, oh my God, Jesus speaks about Jesus speaks about he speaks about war. you shall hear rumors of war and the famine and the disease and he says when you hear all these things lift up your heads and look up for your redemption has come don't run away position yourself position yourself to be the answer he says, look at the fig tree and learn from the sign of the fig tree. When you see the fig tree shooting out its shoot, you say, the time of the harvest, the time of the summer has come. Therefore, you also, when you see increase and multiplication of famine and wars, you need to know that the victory of the kingdom is at hand. Victory of the king. We need a victorious mindset. We need a victorious mindset. We need a victorious mindset. Oh my God. I, this is what I hear from the Lord. Change your language. Change your language. Because you cannot build higher than your words. You cannot build higher than your words. When I say change your language, I'm speaking to everyone here, including waiters. Including waiters. Position yourself. Position yourself. When wealth, when the famine came, when the famine came, 
Joseph, oh my God, the king of the, the superpower, the king of Egypt, he said to a man who had positioned himself for the great harvest, he positioned himself even when he was in Potiphar's house. When he was running away from Potiphar's wife, he was not just running away from fornication and adultery. He was positioning himself. He was positioned of the nation. Joseph is preparing to be skilled. And his, he, he, you know, his university project is management of the nation, management of government through prisoners. In the prison, you have got to have a breakthrough mindset. Regardless of your location, regardless of your situation, regardless of the village where you come from, regardless of the circumstances and the standard of education that is upon you, position yourself. It was in that situation, and out of, as I wrap up right now, in that situation and exactly in that situation, God, Hebrews 6 verse 10 says, God is not unrighteous. God is not unrighteous to forget all your labors. All your preparation. All your labors of love. God is not unrighteous to forget everything. Every, oh my God. The faithfulness right on the back seat there. You must be faithful even when nobody is seeing you. No home cell leader is seeing you. No deacon is seeing you. No church elder is seeing you. No pastor is seeing you. But God is seeing you. And God is not unrighteous. God is not. God, oh my God. Joseph, when he was thrown into Potiphar's house as a slave with no human rights. No human rights, no human liberties. But the Bible says, but God was with him. When he was thrown falsely accused, thrown into jail, but God was with him. And so, never lose a sense of God consciousness. When you earn your salary, God is with you. The pastor may not be there, but God is with you there. You need to have a God consciousness. How do I position myself serving God in a greater harvest than beyond this salary? Position yourself. When you see some people giving, I used to see some people giving entire salary, en entire, entire salary, my brothers. I'm talking, agreeing, a man agrees with his wife to say, we are taking our whole salary to the house of the Lord. And some of those men today, one of, one of those men today is the richest black person, richest black person in the United Kingdom. Richest black person in the United Kingdom. In the United... I, I used to see people... They, I mean, this guy takes away his car. His only car gives away to the pastor. He starts to go on Matatu. And he's a CEO. He starts to go on Matatu. Today, he can't even visit Zimbabwe because we can't handle his money. We can't handle his man. He only sends his wife. He only sends his wife. And his wife, his wife is the executive chairperson of their humanitarian wing of their company. Humanitarian wing. And he's looking after over half a million orphans and sending them to school. Not just in Zimbabwe, including in Burundi there. Position yourself. Position yourself. Position yourself. Get rid of the poverty spirit. Poverty spirit. Get rid of that. Because things, my God, things are coming to a level of harvesting of nations. Harvesting of nations. And the harvesting of nations that you read about in Revelation chapter 14, it happens now, the reason why I read Revelation 14 and went with it right all the way to verse 20, 22, is because some of the people that are going to be raised by God in this church, they are going to be raised out of corners which don't look like rele relevant to what God is going to do with them. 
like David was raised, one of the things that David was doing was to sing songs. How does singing songs connect with the throne of being a king? <laughs> but when you connect to principles of God, man of God, I honor, and woman, of, I honor your humility. This is a big church. This is a, this is a, I mean, you are fathers in this nation, but you have also committed yourself to be of service to this young man. That's humility. And that humility, God will honor this nation. God will honor this church. Because God looks at the heart. He does not look at the outward. God does like that. And then he says, and David realized also that God had exalted his kingdom for the sake of Israel, his people. So God will do certain things for you because he has found you to be the person with the heart that cares for the people. For the sake of his people, God exalted the kingdom under David. So there are so many, some of you, your business is going to be exalted for the sake of the harvest. For the sake of the harvest, provided you have proven yourself faithful. No amount of money is too big to give to God. Let me show you how big God is. Now, some of you, when you become chairman of a company, you feel like, oh my God, you have to write a letter to greet me. Just to greet me. That's how sometimes when we don't know God and we don't know who he is, we, we feel too big when we are supposed to feel humble. Let me tell you about God. Do you know that God, God is not just running the church. God is running the whole earth. But God is not running just the earth. He, God says, scientifically speaking, nations are wrong somewhere. God is managing not just the earth. He actually says, the earth, Deuteronomy 29, verse 29, the earth, I have donated it. <laughs> I have donated it, delegated it to sons of men so that they can, they can also have something to manage on my behalf. But then he says, the heavens are mine. And when he says the heavens, he's talking about the entire universe, including planets which scientists, including NASA, does not know about. God is too big. <laughs> you should feel humble and honored if God can have one second to listen to your prayer. You should be so thankful. 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 Let's rise up and thank him. Let's rise up and thank him. Rise up and give thanks to God. Let, let's let just walk, break into worship. Break into worship. Break into praise. This God. Break into worship. Break into worship. Break into praise. Break into worship. Break into praise. Break into worship. Let the young and old, great and small, worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Give him the honor. Give him the glory. Give him the praise that is due to him. Give him the praise that is due to him. Give him the praise that is befitting him. Give him the praise. Oh, he is Lord. Hallelujah. He is Lord. Oh, yes. He is Lord. Yes. He is Lord. Hallelujah. Who sits upon the throne? Jesus. He sits on the circle of Jesus. the earth. He sits on the circle of the earth. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless, Bless his holy name. Bless Nations are coming. Hallelujah. Nations are, are coming. Hallelujah. Even in the middle of famine, Hallelujah. in the middle of poverty, in the middle of lack, nations are coming. Nations are coming. Nations are coming. His servants will lead nations to him. His servants will lead their businesses to him. 
him they will lead their governments to him they will lead their villages to him his servants will worship him they will worship him with their substance they will worship him they will worship him in the name of Jesus 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 just while we are here because I don't want to leave you out in case you were visiting just visiting this church and Jesus Christ the Son of God who is the mediator between God and man he is also the Savior his name there is no other name given to mankind under heaven by which you can be saved. But he is here. He is here with us today. Just in case you are here and you are just visiting. I would like to give you an opportunity. I want to pray with you. I want you to be part of those that position themselves for this great harvest. Even those that have been in the church for a long time, they are also positioning themselves. What about you who was outside? you were just none interested but this is your time this is your time with our eyes closed right now with our eyes closed if you are here you want to come to the Lord you will lift up your right hand I want to pray with you right now don't want to leave you out this is a this is where the world is going this is where the God is taking nations if you are there you will lift up your right hand just pray with you right now if you want to come and be part of this army this army you want to give your life to the Lord you want to be among that number lift up your right hand so that I can pray with you yes I see that hand up I'm waiting for more hands I'm... strong men that's time to show that you are a strong man you are going to follow the strong one the name God means the strong one the true strong one lift up your, your, you know, your hand we're just waiting for you because I want to pray for those people my sister just start coming everyone who is supposed to be here just check it right yes come our sister everyone else who you are supposed to be here just come just walk just walk yes please assist her to walk I'll pray with you I'll pray with you anybody else who wants to give his life to the Lord you're welcome welcome we'll pray with you right here. pray with you young and old will pray with you young and old clap hands she's coming anybody else anybody else anybody else yes clap hands she's coming she's coming anybody else don't be left out don't be left out don't miss this day don't miss this time don't miss this time yes yes it's important yes yes it's important don't miss this time don't miss this time don't miss this opportunity yes don't miss this opportunity they are crossing over these are crossing over they are crossing over they are crossing over they are crossing over they are busy crossing over give thanks to the lord give thanks to the lord they are crossing over they are crossing over they are crossing over in the name of jesus they are part of the first fruit but nations are coming in the name of jesus just lift up your hands i'll pray with you right now just lift up your hands just follow this prayer after me just say heavenly father heavenly father in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i thank you i thank you for choosing me for choosing in christ jesus in christ jesus for righteousness for righteousness and this morning and this morning forgive my sins forgive my sins i believe i believe in your son jesus in your son jesus whom you sent whom you sent to save my life to save my life and to save the world I receive Jesus. I receive forgiveness of sin. I receive transformation. And I'm translated from the powers of darkness to the kingdom of God. Now and forever. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and give me a godly walk. Let me run the race and finish it. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Brethren, let's pray for them. Let's pray for them. Father, in the name of Jesus. Touch a life, touch a life. Speak a new beginning. Speak a new beginning upon him. No looking back in the name of Jesus. We speak a new beginning. No looking back. We speak a new beginning in this life. 
no looking back in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus the Lord bless you let's give a clip over into the Lord now yes so you are no longer you are no longer strangers no longer strangers to the household of God to the temple of God to the family of God and God who is a father here on earth through him through his favor and grace for you he has also given you a father God is in him to shepherd you he is the man of God the senior pastor of the church and there are brothers and sisters around that are going to help you and man of God uh, you are going they are going to be given instructions of where they can go yes the yes the, your brothers are waiting for you to just uh, receive you give you a few instructions you'll come back to your seat you'll come back to your seat you'll come back to your seat hallelujah let's lift up our hands all of us we want to come to a new level of repositioning and recommitment and renewal and reconstruction father this morning i want i want us to pray this prayer after me say heavenly father this morning in the name of jesus i lay down everything i surrender everything myself and everything that is about me in the name of jesus i reposition myself on a higher level of commitment you are gracious guide me lord everything that i have it's at your service and it's at your mercy let your grace accompany me and so help me god in jesus mighty name amen and amen hallelujah 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 praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord and very timely way to this congregation Victory Christian Center Tabernacle thank you father for sending your prophet father to affirm the things you have been speaking to these 
to this congregation the weight transformation weight and the prayers followed after the preaching of the word we are thanks to you our father and our god because of what you are doing in this church through this church and for this church thank you father god for sending these faithful generals to come and speak this word prophetically and very apostolically father to affirm the things and the assignment that is in this house father god we give glory back to you father god we give the honor to you and father god we give the praises to you father god we give you all the praises to you right now because you are god who knows the ends even before the beginning starts father thank you thank you jesus christ it is in the name of the father the son and the spirit of the lord and everyone in this house you yell you shout and say a big long emotional amen Come on, this city, continue, continue to praise the Lord, continue to give glory to God. He indeed he saves it, he indeed he saves it. Thank you, Father God, thank you, Holy Spirit of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Before I let you be seated, I wanted to thank the man of God, Apostle Alexander. Thank you so much for sharing the word to the congregation. I could feel a prophetic, apostolic mandate being released to the congregation. Thank you so much for availing the gifts God has vested you in your life to come and serve our congregation. Just to give you a feedback, many of the things we've been speaking over here, they're the things which God spoke to this congregation. You came like an apostle to affirm the things in the house, to confirm the things in this house. And we have received in humility, in humbleness, acknowledgement to God. Thank you for being ready to come and save our congregation this morning. Once more, give the Lord our claps of your hands because of the way he came to us this morning from the apostle of God. VCCT, many of you, you continue to confirm that God has an assignment for this congregation. God spoke these things to this congregation, I believe two or three years ago. And there have been prophets of God coming to confirm and affirm these things in this church. It's not about me. I'm saying it's not about me. It's about kingdom of God. It's all about the kingdom of God. It's not about me. I may be here. I may not be here. But he is eternally here. And to make his vision, his assignment, divine assignment, accomplished for his own glory and for the wider interests of the kingdom of God. For the best interest of the kingdom of God. Let's be partners in carrying out this assignment of God forward. Let's be partakers of what God has bestowed for this congregation. You are a partner. You are part of what God has in this church, for this church, and through this church. Let's be focused to what is ahead of us. I believe as we are wrestling to see these things going forward and moving forward, there is tears, there is a sweating, there is pains, there is cries, but there is a day of the laughter and joy and celebration waiting ahead of us. The 
it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ I say it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ May the Lord give us long life to see the climax of what is being set for this congregation to celebrate the agenda of the kingdom of God. Turn to your neighbors and tell them, be part of what has been spoken from the altar through the servant of God. Tell your neighbor, reposition yourself. Go to another neighbor, tell the next neighbor, reposition yourself. Go to another neighbor, tell your other neighbor, reposition yourself. Everybody say, repositioning myself. Everybody heal and say, I am repositioning myself for the agenda of the kingdom of God. For the agenda of the kingdom of God. The divine assignment of God. Christ City in one accord say a big amen. Amen. Let's clap our hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. God will make it come to pass. God will fulfill it for his glory. God will make it be accomplished for his glory. Amen. It shall come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It shall come to pass in the name of the Lord. Amen. For the glory of the kingdom of God. Amen. Say amen in the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe this congregation will be or even now is among of the strategic congregation I often say to this congregation, I'm a, I'm a builder by profession. When you see tall cranes lifting things in the, on the side, when you see big trucks carrying construction, when you see their heavy equipment on the construction site, you should understand that there's a big construction going on in that site. That's not a building of a small building or a small house. It's a huge undertaking taking place in the site. And as I see God bringing to us these generals of faith. As I see been working with God who are impacting the continent of Africa and the globe at large there must be an assignment of God for this congregation this is not a coincidence this is not just uh, an accident this is divine arranged it's been here from people who are in a huge big caliber in the ministry speaking prophetically to us and this humbles me who am I in the entire city of Dar es Salaam that God can choose the congregation by the grace of God and pastoring? I am very humbled this morning and I'll continue to be humbled for the grace of God in this ministry. Jamani, join me to praise God one more time because of what God is doing in this church. Hallelujah. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you the honor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone say amen in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This week I was in South Africa. And I visited one of the large churches. Bishop knows it. Uh, the Rivers Church. It's one of the big ministries in South Africa. And the people who took me there. They gave me an assassin pastor to take around with the team I was with them. To take around in that congregation. And... The host told me, you must come and meet the senior minister, the senior pastor of this church, because I see there are some things you carry in similar because of what is happening in this church. And I know myself, I know my humble background, I know where I come from. For another person to say, you should come 
and visit the senior leader and have some moments with him that was a humbling statement to me because I know my background because I know who I am because I know I am literally a nobody's person but by the grace of God and I'm attributing this thing to an assignment of God for this congregation that God is connecting this church and me also for his agenda we should be ready to carry the agenda of God as a church we should be ready to carry the agenda of God for this congregation say after me say I am ready to ready partner with God partner for his with agenda God. in Jesus name Jesus. and every congregant in one, one accord say amen. amen give the Lord a clap of your hands thank you so very much and please have your seats hallelujah hallelujah amen brother Isaac thank, thank you so much for choosing my congregation to be among of the visited congregation in the city of Dar es Salaam Asante Sana God bless you thank you so much for uh, respecting this ministry in such a high way hallelujah hallelujah thank you so much now I welcome the next program God bless you Praise God, church. Praise Him. Amen. May we give the Lord a big round of applause for today, for His goodness. Yeah, truly, the Lord has been good. Um, thank you so much, Baba. Thank you, Mama, for giving me this opportunity, but also for bringing the people of God, the servants of God, to minister to us. Please let us clap for our pastors. They have been feeding us. Yeah, truly. Truly, we can say that we are in the right place. God has planted us in the right place. Thank you so much. And the entire leadership of the church. Um, today, we just have uh, one announcement. And um, later on, then, uh, the video announcements will come on. We have two offerings for today. The first offering is love, tithe, and thanksgiving. And the second offering is the sanctuary construction. And uh, as we all know, this is the month of December. And this is the last month for the pledges that we had made. So we are encouraged to fulfill all the pledges that you have made, ensure that you have no arrears and that you have done what you have promised to the Lord to do. Amen. Giving time. Giving time. Amen. The singers for today are Rivers of Joy International. Thank you very much.
Good morning, church. My name is Angel Robert. I'm wishing you a merry early Christmas and welcome to today's announcements. Nimeleta watoto wangu katika kempu ya watoto ya hapa kanisani kwetu VCCT kwa mwaka 2023. Nimekuwa ni kampu ya tofauti, kampu ya baraka ambayo watoto wetu wamepata neema ya kuja kujifunza vitu ambavyo wasingeweza kuvipata kwenye madarasa. Wamekuja kanisani wamejifunza mambo mengi kwa habari, mambo ya self esteem, mambo ya kutengeneza mipango lakini pia kwenye mambo ya sexual purity. Haya mambo yote ni mambo ambayo huwezi kuyapata kwenye mafunzo ya darasani lakini kupitia maono ya kanisa ya kutengeneza kampu hii na kuwaleta watoto wetu waje kuitumia likizo yao vizuri. Mimi leo kidogo kwa sehemu nimepata nafasi ya kufundisha lakini nimeona namna ambavyo wazaa walimu wetu wanafanya kazi kubwa sana ya kukaa na watoto wetu kuwafundisha. Niwapongeze sana 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 walimu wetu mnafanya kazi kubwa sana kutulelea watoto wetu. Asanteni sana kwa kushinda siku nzima kuanzia asubuhi mpaka kufika mtu tunaozungumza mmekuwa na watoto wetu, mmekaa na watoto wetu, wamekula vizuri, wamecheza, wamejifunza. Mungu awabariki sana. Asante mchungaji wetu kiongozi Dr. Huruma Nkone kwa maono haya mazuri. Tamani watoto wangu. Mwe watoto ambao mnampenda Mungu, mnawapenda wazazi, mnalipenda kanisa na mnawapenda na ndugu wengine. Upendo kwa Mungu, upendo kwa wazazi upendo kwa ndugu zenu, upendo kwa kanisa, upendo kwa watu ambao mnaoshinao, hata wale mlio kwa mashuleni. Neno moja tu, upendo. What I've learned today is character development, self-discipline and self-esteem. I thank Pastor Huruma Nkone for this day. He has created this project. Na pia tumejifunza kupenda kupenda Mungu, wazazi na hata walimu. I also say thank you to the pastor and the teachers who had who had helped us learn today. Thank you Pastor Uluma Nkone for preparing this camp on behalf of other children. I say thank you because we taught have been taught many things. Thank you. Asanteni kanisa kwa kutupa nafasi kwa watoto watoto wamecheza wamekula wamekunywa we have had a wonderful session tunamshukuru mungu na we cannot wait for next year kufanya tena camp hii we pray that it will be even more amazing wazazi tumwafundisha watoto tumewaambia kwamba wakaende wakaongee na wazazi wao please no many make more time at home sit with them talk about issues with them they need you Kweni na watoto karibu na ongeni haya mambo. Thank you so much. Asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki. Ule msimu kusherekea, msimu familia kukaa pamoja na kumshukuru Mungu kwa kuzaliwa kwa ajili yetu umefika. Rivers of Joy International ya TIG VCCT wakiwa pamoja na mchungaji kiongozi Dr. Huruma Nkone na Gwamaka Mokalinga wanatuleta pamoja kwenye Christmas Resound 2023 ikiwa na theme ya God with us yani Mungu pamoja nasi. Ni siku ya tarehe 26 ya mwezi wa 12 kuanzia saa 9 siri kwa kiingilio cha shilingi 30 VIP 10000 kawaida watoto na wanafunzi ni shilingi 5000 jo tuimbe tucheze kwa pamoja huku tukishuhudia live recording ya Rivers of Joy International wakimtukuza Mungu Christmas Resound 2023 God with us Sanctuary prayers are ongoing and will be done through zones in our respective life centers The zone responsible next week will be Ubungo A All members of the zone are encouraged to participate. Preteens lessons had begun on 12th December and are ongoing. Children who attended the June sessions are required to attend in order to finish their classes and be transferred to the TCG department. Lessons will be on Tuesday and Friday from 8:30 a.m. to 4 p.m. and on Sunday classes will be held during the first and the second service. Be informed that these classes are held for only two weeks. Therefore, the next week 
will be the final week. The following is the schedule for our services during this Christmas season. 25th on Christmas Day, first service will begin at 8 a.m. and end at 9.30 a.m. The second service will begin at 10 a.m. and end at 11.30 a.m. On this day, children and TCG members will join us in the service. Their classes will not be held. Paul Clement will minister. On 31st Jan, Sunday, our services will resume as usual. The first which is the English service, will be from 7 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. And the second service, which will be the Swahili service, will start from 10.30 a.m. We will have our New Year's overnight on the same day from 9.30 p.m., where we will receive our 2024 theme declaration from our senior pastor. Do not plan to miss this important service. Comedian C. Eliud will be performing. On 1st January 2024, that is year, there will be no service. Instead, a special Thanksgiving service will be held on the 7th of January 2024. We have come to the end of our announcements for today. Thank you so much, Ning, and I'm wishing you a wonderful week. Let's be upstanding, please. And you stretch forth your hands towards the offerings. We pray for the offerings. We also uh, thank God for this full service. And we'll be the end of the service. Our King and our Lord, we come before you. Thanking you, our King, that we are in your house. Thank you for allowing us to be here this morning, oh my Father. And thank you, Jehovah God, that through the Father of this house, you have brought a man of you as to come and speak prophetically on this congregation we are receiving all the prophetic words jehovah god that we have heard this morning in the name of jesus christ and we pray that we will see them coming to be a reality we will see them coming to be a, a reality coming to fulfillment in the name of jesus christ thank you father for everything that happened in this service as we come to the end of this service, Almighty God, we are also committing our offerings unto you, Almighty God. Thank you for everyone who has stretched forth a hand to give unto you, Almighty King. Because you are remembering this person and as you use this offering to build your kingdom, to further your kingdom, you're going to be building the life of this person in the name of Jesus Christ. Some are here, some are not here, Jehovah God, but they're done the transactions to give unto you this morning we pray a blessing to every giver in the name of jesus christ and thank you lord because you're going to use this offering jehovah god to build the people almighty god to bring many into your kingdom in the name of jesus christ father as we come to the end of this service we pray that you will be with us even as we depart from this place in the name of jesus christ we pray that the devil has no area has no space has no power has no permission over our lives in jesus mighty name we are surrounded by an army of angels and we'll see your hand in everything that we do today and even we start as we start the next week tomorrow in jesus mighty name father we have prayed and we believe that we have received in jesus name and everybody shout and say amen amen why can't you give uh, praises to jesus amen amen you can have your wonderful seat Yesu asifiwe I thank God for allowing me to stand before you this morning. I also thank the father and the mother of the house. Thank you, Baba and Mama, for according me this opportunity. A uh, few announcements as we close this service. Number one, today we are having a, a Victory Bible School graduation. Today at 2 p.m. We are having a graduation. Do we have uh, VBS students here? If you can raise your hand, please. Yes, some of them are here. Probably some of them are, are in saloons doing makeup. Probably. I'm saying probably. 
but today we are having a graduation at the uh, the chosen generation chapel at two so you're welcome but more emphasis that is that uh, we are coming to uh, the end of this uh, year's class and so next year on February we'll be having a 2024 class that we are all encouraged to join we have the first year that is certificate and the second year that is uh, advanced certificate more details will be coming in our forthcoming services but you're encouraged if you have jo you haven't joined our victory bible school to join this coming year's class amen amen let's recognize those who are worshiping with us online there are people joining us from all over the world thank you very much for joining us and may god bless you if you can send us if it's an email or a co if you can drop a comment on youtube we'll be happy to continue communicating with you and may god bless you abundantly amen if you're here you're visiting us it's your first time we love visitors and you're a very very important person in this church today why can't you raise up your hand wherever you are you are our visitor today yes we have a number of visitors thank you please can, please be upstanding please be upstanding if you can stand on your feet we love visitors and we would love to uh, recognize your presence in a special way church I didn't hear clubs that much with the number of visitors that we have today amen so ushers will be handling a small package of our church but more will be communicated to you in our visitors launch so I'm kindly asking you to pick up your belongings whatever you came with because you are exiting the auditorium before anyone else so pick up your belongings and they'll be guiding you as to where you are supposed to go just behind this auditorium there's a launch for visitors and ushers you can guide them and then more claps for our visitors as they proceed to at the door amen amen you don't get weary doing that you keep class clapping hands Amen. Amen. If you didn't stand up, but you are a visitor, you don't want to miss what they are going to, to experience there. So you, you can just join them. And it's just behind this auditorium. And may God bless you for doing that. Church, we have come to the end of the service. We are dismissed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit of God. Enjoy your coming week. Amen.
Oh